to Mob TV. This is about a small girl, a to not really a toddler, she's above a toddler, but a young girl whose passion and determination for education is next to nothing. You know, sequel to the fact that last year or last two years, 2018, we saw a particular girl go viral, that is success. You know, that say, flog me or flog me or but me and mom goes school. You know, she went viral, she got a lot of money and automatically the family became millionaire like from the donations of goodwill, like good people. You know, so that, um, I do not, this girl is not actually, this girl is actually Dele. She's not actually copying success. Unique in her way. She had a homework and there is no steady power in Nigeria. Like we don't have light in Nigeria. Even right now we don't have light. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry Nigeria, but my dog threw now. <laughs> you know, the truth shall make us free. We don't have light. Currently now there is no light. No never. <laughs> so maybe this was the case of Dele. In the night and in the evening, Dele needed to finish her homework. She did what she threw down to the nearest ATM machine within their environment. You know, the bank always leave the light on. Light. So the ray of the light or the radiation that came out from the ATM machine illuminated the environment. So she was there in the picture, like you could see right now, doing her homework there. And the Twitter user who, who went to use the ATM saw, saw her and picked interest and actually tweeted about it. Now she went viral and she's trending. And um, FCME had come up to say that they are going to take care of her education since she is determined to for, like she's determined to become something in life and have good education and it was found out that um, and they spread the news across and we also heard that the daily has been found with the grandmother this is a very success news it's a good news i'm so happy about this and i think that um, nigeria should not be encouraged by this kind of things but rather should be inspired to do more like what i mean is the government should see this as a dance as it were for us to have steady power. What about that child that was on the ATM machine? What if something bad happened to the child? What if there was a thief or this ritualist that are looking for a child to kidnap and kidnap that small child and use her for ritual? That's how the grandmother will be at home because there is no power and the child will be lost. We are celebrating, yes, thank God FCM is giving them scholarship, but look at the vices around. Look at the security measures. Nobody's thinking about that. We're just thinking about how um, she got this. And this might inspire a lot of children going to ATM machines when there is no light. And evil people, like bad people, could still take advantage of that too. I call on the government. I don't know <laughs> if NEPA said the light will be possible in Nigeria. But anything is possible. We are still being optimistic. <laughs> as much as they said Nigeria is not a country that will stand. <laughs> Only two things. Restructure the country or <laughs> let it... The country will divide by itself, you know. We don't even need it. <laughs> we don't even need anybody to divide it again. Because the country automatically everybody's internally divided inside their mind. <laughs> so that one is not an option. But for restructuring, that's the only way Nigeria could be held. Let's restructure. Let's restruct, guys, and let's move forward. Whatever you think about Delhi um, getting a scholarship, just tell us on the comment section below. It's very important. Let's celebrate what is good and share this video too. And um, hit the like button and the notification bell so when I post the video, be first to get a lot of it. Then on our Facebook page, please hit that follow button. Very important. Thank you for being part of us and bye for now. Lord, have mercy on you.